Hi, it's me again, Simbaco. You're now watching the second devlog of SCP Phoenix. Uh, if you haven't seen the first one, the link is in the description and also in the card top left corner. Okay, if we got this out of the head, um, let's say what I've prepared for today. In December, I presented SCP Phoenix from the general side, from very assumptions of the project. Today, I would like to say a little about place of the action, about the foundation. Enjoy. Individual areas in the SCP Foundation are really important. There are facilities that store uh, documents only and are place for uh, analysis, for example. The other type of facilities um, store only safe objects or those that which don't cause containment problems. In yet another type of them, bees from your worst nightmares are hiding in the shadows. Which one of these are you gonna visit in SCP Phoenix? Well, a mix of all of them. What does it mean? Well, a few months before events of the game, Foundation comes across a really huge problem. A lot of sites uh, are being closed and those still open are getting personal and SCP objects that had nowhere to go. In the middle of all this chaos, Nathan, a main character of our story. The site that you will see for most of the game is Site Phoenix. Um, I said for most of the time, because further the story goes, we will visit uh, other places known more or less to the SCP fans. But I don't want you to get bored. See for yourself. Of course, keep in mind that everything what you will see is in early stage of production, and I'm sure we will make some changes. Okay, our current objective uh, is to meet with Dr. Campbell in Heavy Containment Zone, an area that's designated for containing anomalies. When we see a hand with any item, it means that we can interact with it. To do that, use the E key. You know, it's still an early version of the game, we didn't make it to finish NPCs, but we're hard working on it. Who knows, maybe next time when we show you this canteen, the dozens of people like you will sit here. What's that?
during your journey. In different places you will be able to find SCP reports, collect them and read them in the document section. This one here is about SCP-590. A seemingly ordinary boy who heals wounds and disease through contact with another person. But maybe I should call it transferring disease and wounds. SCP-590 takes away injuries of other people and assigns them to himself, regardless of whatever it is a gunshot wound, a mental illness or even a heavy tumor. The history of this object is uncommonly sad. Never mind, let's continue. One of the first things that I gave in mind when thinking about SCP sites is this type of room. If you played SCP Containment Breach or SCP Secret Laboratory, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see what do we got here. Some things in the game can be moved by us when we for example touch them. But okay, we need to focus. We still need to join Dr. Campbell. Fortunately, it's not far away anymore. Finally, elevators. Now we can help with experiments. So, what do you think? You can share your thoughts on our Discord server. Maybe you have some advice on what we can improve. Let us know right there. Link is in the description. There will be two other locations belonging to SCP Foundation in SCP Phoenix. Um, but they are still under development and they are not ready to be shown. For now. However, two more tracks from the soundtrack are ready to be shown. Foundation's priority and the foundation. You can listen to them by clicking the link in the description. I cordially invite you. So, I showed you a sneak peek of the gameplay, um, two more songs and a few things more. So, everything is okay, right? I'm just getting started and stuff like that. Well, unfortunately, no. I've worked a lot to show you this little fragment. <sighs> it was exhausting. I am exhausted. 
I need a break. Or at least I need to slow down a bit. Um, I need to rest, I need to regain my strength. Um, and I need to study. <laughs> because soon both me and Chihi um, will have really important exam for us. Uh, so it's our priority now. And this is why we've decided to skip April's devlog. You know, I don't want to disappoint anyone, but I can't continue development in in the trash, in the in the space. Um, so uh, yeah, I just need some time. Okay, I hope that you understand. Uh, thank you so much, and and sorry. In spite of all, I want to do something for you in April. Not the vlog, uh, but I will prepare something. Especially because April 15th uh, is 10th anniversary of SCP containment breach. Uh, stay tuned. So, I hope that you liked today's devlog. Although I will spend less time on the development, um, I'll try to inform you about the progress of work on our Discord server. That's it. We will meet in another devlog in August. But there is no exact date yet. Mm. Again, thank you. Thank you very much. See ya.